There's a quote that sits on my desk. I've had this for many years now. It was a mantra of mine when we began talking about forming Encore. Years ago, I bought this at the Holocaust Museum in Washington, D.C., and I think about it often. It's a quote from Margaret Mead that says, Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. When I think of theater in this community, and I think about the many productions that have been, and the many people who's, who's tread the boards throughout the years, and the literal blood, sweat, and tears that have gone into the work we do, and I think about my experiences as an actor and a director here, there are a handful of people that immediately come to mind. And tonight, it is my honor to induct the 10th member of the Encore Hall of Fame. The Encore Hall of Fame Award was established to recognize individuals who have given so much of their time and talent to this community and who we are, in my opinion, we, who, they, who they are game changers. They see the bigger picture. They know how important the role of the arts play in our world. Some of the words I think of when I think of this person, caring, giving, nurturing, dedicated, dependable, thoughtful, smart, patient, and loving. And this person has basically done everything, or almost everything, to do with Encore. Every department of Encore, almost, has benefited from the talents, gifts, and passion of this artist. Yes, we have seen this artist on stage, but we've also experienced contributions of this special person from more of what has been given behind the scenes. And as I prepared for what to say tonight, I kept thinking, why hasn't this person received this award, award already? I mean, this is a no-brainer. But immediately, I was able to answer my own question because, as you will see, it's easy to be contributing and supporting from the background and not always receive the acknowledgement you so deserve. This person has been an actor, as I said, a crew member, a props manager, a costume designer, a painter, a stage manager, a founding company member, and a founding patron, a jack of all trades, and most importantly, a friend. Yes, it is impossible to describe the tremendous impact Encore has received from the work of Deborah Foster Williams. <laughs> and, I'm not through yet. Hold on, hold on. I got more. I got more. And, and it's impossible to list it all because there are things Deborah does that no one does. For instance, she always takes care of these little things that I myself forget about. For instance, the lobby board. She always does that. And some things she does that I forget about. And for instance, she reminded me last night that, you know, um, she actually designed one of those posters over there. <laughs> I didn't know because I wasn't here, but... <laughs> Not only is Deborah's passion for the arts an important quality to understand, it's also her passion and love for this community. Shortly after graduating from Carson Newman, she made Morristown her home and has been very active for many years in numerous organizations and groups. She truly believes in promoting her hometown and bettering the quality of life here in the Lakeway area. Through her role as the general manager at the Morristown Area Chamber of Commerce, Deborah's knowledge of this community is vast, and there's no better person in town who understands this town better than Deborah. Deborah is many things, 
But there are some traits of Deborah's I'm quite envious of, to be honest. Number one, she has an excellent memory. She can remember down to the detail what happened 10, 20 years ago. And I have trouble remembering what I ate for breakfast. <laughs> Number two, she's an excellent storyteller. Deborah has a way of setting up facts and ideas and connecting thoughts in a way that many people cannot. And part of that is due to, number one, her excellent memory. Number three, she has the best discipline when it comes to writing thank you notes. I can't tell you the number of thank you notes I've received from Deborah. I have a list of people, no kidding, from a full year that I need to write thank you notes for, and I never have the time. But Deborah doesn't use that as an excuse. She makes the time to thank people, to write a thank you note. And that says a lot about her, especially in today's world. For a number of years, Deborah was also my boss at the Morristown Area Chamber of Commerce. And despite my OCD and my crazy personality quirks, it never seemed to stand in the way of our working relationship and our friendship. She was always very supportive and kind regardless of the situation. And it reminds me of how we should always be. I've observed Deborah's kindness and generosity over the past 15 years, and I've watched her genuine care and commitment to the people and projects in her life. I've seen her offer great encouragement to young people. I've seen her offer, uh, I've seen her put others first and offer help to someone in need. I've seen her refrain from sharing her opinion because she didn't want to upset or disrupt other people. And Encore would not be where it is today without the numerous contributions that Deborah has given to us. So it's proper and fitting that on this special 10th anniversary that we say thank you to someone who has sacrificed a great deal so we can be here 10 years later. So Deborah, we love you. We thank you for making a difference. And ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to induct Miss Deborah Foster Williams as our 2017 Encore Theatrical Hall of Fame. being at the Chamber of Commerce and knowing so much about the community. So I will answer the question that I get asked more than any other. No, we're not getting a target. <laughs> the, the reason I no, remember so many things that Micah Shane can't remember is because I'm like three times older than Micah Shane, so I don't remember. And Mr. Jack Fishman, thank you for all the great stories that you've told. I have learned some storytelling uh, techniques from listening to you for 33 years. <laughs> thank you very much. This, this award, Encore, and the arts in our community mean a great deal to me. I appreciate you.